What is up you guys, my name's Apprenti and welcome back to Drinks for Dummies. Now today we're revisiting one for a really close friend of mine and that is one for Mr. Dalek JD. Now he was the first YouTuber I actually did Drinks for Dummies for and he wanted me to do another one. So what we're going to do is something based on a margarita because he loves margaritas. So obviously we've got your, our tequila, our Cointreau, our agave syrup and our lime juice for it. What we're going to add into it is some Disserano and yes, I'm using a mini bottle. I will be using all of it. Um, it's just I have them in the house and I just want to get rid of them. So be using that and then we'll also be using a watermelon. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. So I have a nice big watermelon here. I'm actually going to start by just taking a wee slither off the back of it just so it can stand up. So you're not actually cutting into the watermelon itself. It's just the flesh you're cutting off so that it can eventually stand up. After done that, we're going to take its head off. Make sure you... Uh, you're careful with this because it is a very sharp knife I'm using. Um, so we're we'll going to take the head off. Once we've cut the top off, we're actually going to get another smaller knife and a spoon as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut out all of the inside of the watermelon and we're going to scoop it into our blender. And I'll show you that once I've done that. Okay, so we scooped it all out so it's nice and hollow as you can see there. All the watermelon is in the blender. I actually got a big ladle to scoop it out. It came a lot easier. Um, and the small knife worked great just going around the edges, so now we've done that, we can stick it on the blender to blend. So we'll get that on there, it can actually work this blender. There we go, and stick the lid on, and then we're going to blend this. So now that's blending, obviously this is empty as I've shown you already. We're going to start off with the uh, some booze, so what we're going to do is get some Cointreau. Now, a um, classic margarita has obviously two shots of tequila to half a shot of Cointreau. We're just going to eyeball it. It's going to be quite a bit in there. And I'm going to go with the Gavi syrup next. And I'm just going to have a wee, about a double shot, 50 mils of that. And we're going to stick all of our Disserano in there because I have loads of these mini bottles to get rid of. So Disserano in there. And now for our tequila, we're just going to pour a healthy amount of that in there and then finally finally our limes so let's gonna get uh, four limes and just squeeze the lime juice in there that's <clears throat> one lime done I really need to get myself like a lime uh, squeezer it'd be so much easier to squeeze these limes in or buy fresh like the thing is about buying fresh bottled juice it's not really that fresh because obviously it has like a a month's shelf life on it, so that's why I prefer to um, just buy the the fruits themselves and squeeze them. Okay, it's a lot more effort, but it's definitely more rewarding in the taste. So there we go. Limes, nearly done. Just got another one to go, or a half to go now. There we are. So we're going to get our watermelon juice now, or I should say our, our watermelon. And we're going to pour that into, back into our watermelon. Going to give it a bit of a mix just so everything mixes in together. Put our lid on, and there we have it, our Mr. Dalek JD. So we're going to have our all important taste test now. Going to give another wee bit of a stir around. And... Oh my god, that is phenomenal. That is like the best margarita I've ever made. Absolutely fantastic. Definitely five print eye faces out of five. This is amazing. Like, a margarita is good on its own. See when you add that disserano and that watermelon to it. Oh my god, that is fantastic. And also, you may be wondering why I've got like a wife beater on. It's really sunny outside. Perfect drink for the sunny weather. I'm going to sit outside. And enjoy this. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode of Drinks for Dummies, if you have, feel free to smash that like button. That'd be much and greatly appreciated. If you want to go check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, links to them will be in the description. Make sure you let me know what YouTubers you want to see for next time in the comment section below. And other than that, guys, until next time, I've been the Prentai, and I'll see you all soon.